the next, I don't know, uh, a month, five weeks. Losing track of yeah. time here. Yeah, we're going to spend Christmas here mm -hmm. in Italy. So we are actually in the northern part. Um, Northeast. Yeah, the top right part. So we're actually, and I did not know this till we came here, the next country over is? Not Russia. <laughs> Jenny thought it was Russia. I didn't actually think that. It was just a funny guess. Slovenia? I think it's Slovenia. Yeah. Which I had no idea. Yeah. Was. And north is like Switzerland and Austria. Yeah, so this was honestly not what we had planned for Christmas. No, we were supposed to be on an island right now. Yeah, we had originally thought like Christmas is going to be so different because we're not around family. So let's make it the opposite of what we usually experience. And we will go to, it just left me, what are, what are they called? Canary, Canary Islands. Islands, yeah. We'll go to the Canary Islands, which are part of Spain. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, we had a house reserve, flights, everything. Overlooking the ocean with a hot tub and a pool. But and you not could walk hot. to the beach. Right, but it, but it wasn't hot. It was going to be 70. Right, which isn't hot. So anyways, for, after we came to Italy the first time, we were in the Tuscany region mm -hmm. and we were like oh we love it here <sighs> yeah let's change our plans and come back for christmas but not to the tuscany region like to the north because we wanted to get close to snow in the event that we would keep going north in january and also just the concept of having christmas on an island with be kind of difficult just practically with you know santa and all that was just going to be tough because they don't have yeah. targets there and they stuff. don't have targets anywhere but so. i'm not sure amazon quickly reaches no it's gonna be challenging right thank you for watching these videos if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe i did not know it was gonna rain every single day here yeah and even when it's not raining it's cloudy and yeah we're not just, used to it's that. not cold enough to snow and it's just kind of gray yeah, it sounds like we're being kind of whiny about it, but we're just trying to get used to having to be inside all the time. Yeah, well, I think yeah. the idea that we would have been on an island <laughs> is yeah. pretty, we'd booked an island, but now we're not there. So while we've been here, um, not very long, we always, you know, kind of hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. And so um, two places we went since we've already been here that have been really fun to explore. The first one was Venice. I think I said to you when we got there, of all the places I've ever imagined in my mind, this one meets every expectation of what I thought it would look like. We have to run. Circle of life, guys. And, a and he's eating a dead bird. Yeah, but it was really cool. I mean, super old city, the, the waterways, the canals. It was really, 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 really. Just the idea nice. that the whole city is built on water. Like, it's, it's just not stupid. A... Like, <laughs> it makes no sense. It doesn't make any you sense. You can see on these buildings, like, oh, yeah. 12 feet up, where, like, obviously the tide came up and it just ate their house. Pretty much. Halfway up. It's just, yeah, it's so it impractical. No but it was a really, I think it was really charming. It was cool. We walked, I mean, we walked and walked. I mean, so Lynn, as the five-year-old, has like, I mean, we had to have walked five miles. Yeah, but she does great. And she's a, yeah, she's, yeah, a she's been a champ. She did, she did put her foot down that day, and I have never seen her be mad for like 45 minutes. I mean, she walked around like this. For yeah. 45 minutes. So we, yeah, we hopped in to go across, and her expectation is that we would take it at the end of the day coming back across. She showed us she's got some real gumption. <laughs> she's mad. Our big thing for Venice was we had planned for the kids to take a mask making class. Yeah.
I guess we learned a little bit, right? He taught us about why they. Yeah, it's part I of like carnival, it. which is they have kind of like in I Brazil. I think they call it like a carnivale, but. Yeah. They, the funniest thing to me is I was like, can you tell me the history of Venetian masks? Where, yeah. Why do they have these? And he said, well, you know, we have the Carnivale and it is a small community and people realized that everybody was talking so they thought it was best basically gossiping about what was happening during the carnival. So they thought it was best to, to cover their faces so people didn't know what was being done. So... I don't know, who knows what's true, but I thought it was a fun story. It was a good day, successful trip, check. Yeah, check, Venice, done. Though I don't think we'll go back there, but. Probably not go back, but yeah. I think it's somewhere, it's, it's a really interesting place to see. There's nothing like it, obviously. No. So the other place we've been that was a great day was Verona. Yeah. And this was never on my list. It wasn't on my list when I knew we were coming here. I even said when we were driving yeah, in, I saw Verona, I said, oh, that's, is that like Shakespeare, Lady of Verona? And you looked at me like, you have no idea what you're talking about. That's not true. I don't you keep did. things in my brain that I don't use on a regular basis. And you pull this stuff out, like how do you remember this? So I started to look at it and it is just the most accessible, charming, Yeah city like it's just beautiful and it has tons of history there's this, this main plaza that's you can't drive on and we're looking and obviously and all of a sudden you see like this coliseum i mm -hmm. mean like arena yeah like arena like math like we hadn't done no research so we didn't know this was a thing um i have done research did you know there was a coliseum yes i was shocked because <laughs> i had done no research and there's this massive coliseum with this super modern, because it's Christmas, star coming out the side of it that's like, you know, 60 feet tall. Yeah, it was really, yeah, it was cool. super cool. fun to watch their imagination when we go into these places they know like wow like maybe gladiators fought here or right. like what happened in these places things that they probably wouldn't imagine if they weren't exposed we went out of our way to find a church because oh, yeah. hello um i like to see them and the kids are never excited <laughs> we got to this church and we walk, I hear this music when we walk in. I'm like, they have music playing through speakers. And we round the corner and I realize this is a live orchestra playing the most beautiful music. And obviously the acoustics are just, I mean, it would be a dream to sing in this church, right? For you? For me, yeah. So this type of music I love, I just don't, I, I, I'm never around it anymore. I was immediately in heaven. And I think the kids responded to my excitement and they were like, this is so cool we are here. Yeah. That night they were gonna be yeah. having a- A free concert. Free concert. And they were, they were warming up and uh, rehearsing. rehearsing. Yeah. There was a, a guy who was, I guess an opera singer, or he was classically trained, clearly. And he was the most like quintessential, imagine like blue silk suit. This hair like slicked back, kind of long. And he had this black, facial hair going on that was like designer designer so it was like the cleanest lines all the way across here a circle here and then this 
stripe that like went around right here. It was the most impressive thing I've seen on a man's face, a I think. But I just felt so lucky that I got to be in there yeah, to fun. hear it. it. It was like, it was a real, that is probably like a core memory made for me. I loved it. So the last thing we did on our way back was Juliet's, Juliet, Juliet's balcony. It's the inspiration for yeah. Shakespeare to, to write this piece. And there is a, um, a very famous, is it bronze, gold, bronze? There's a statue of Juliet. And all of a sudden, like, you know, an uh, older lady, 60 year old, walks up and there's the statue of <laughs> Juliet. And she just puts her hand right on her breast, <laughs> takes the picture. <laughs> We don't know what's going and I'm on. Like, is she from? Where is it's she just, from? Yeah, like we were just like, oh, that's funny. Like, you know. Yeah. So then, middle-aged man. Yeah, then the guy goes up, up, puts his hand right on her boob. Yeah. And it's not just like a finger. It's like no, you grab. fully like, grabbed. Yeah, it's like, yeah. And so, I mean, we get in line to take a picture, but I'm like, I am not doing that. Thing. And it's even like the statue is. I don't know what it's made of, but around that area it's like worn off so uh -huh. it's shiny it's to where cool. obviously Everybody's this is where doing everyone's it. doing yeah. this but we had no idea why. no we found out that it's apparently good luck right for you to do that which is why people were doing it so good for them they got a little extra luck there was just a lot to do i don't think we we saw all that there is to see it was a great day <laughs>